Hello there and welcome. My name is Chris Palmer and in today's Google My Business SEO video, I want to walk you through a general understanding or more so a tactic that you can utilize in order to dominate Google Maps. So today's topic is going to be, I'm going to walk you through a process of Google My Business, Google My Business SEO, utilizing bots and utilizing CTR in order to dominate within your niche. So I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into it. I want to walk you through the process so you can start implementing these tactics as well. So one of the first things I want you to put, I want to point out is this, all right? You need to have an understanding of what moves the needle first before you can start deploying any manipulation or bots or CTR methods or anything. We need to understand a few things before I can get into some of the tactics. So first we need to realize what matters to Google, right? We know that they're updating their insights. Their, their insights are moving so much so that they're going to, the very first thing that they're implementing or the most important thing is how are people finding your business keyword wise, right? So that's the first piece, which is keywords. And we understand that. And as we move down here, we can see there's direct discovery and branded. So as we, so the first thing we know off the bat is, okay, keywords are one of the most important things that they're going to be finding us. Now, what kind of keywords and, and where? Is it organic? Is it in search? Or is it in maps? Right? This matters. If we go down one more level, all right, if we know that we want to start showing up in maps, okay, it's going to be maps. They're not finding us from search. We want, we want our GMBs to start moving up. We want to go into the map pack. We want them to find us within maps. We need to increase engagement within maps. Well, how do we know what Google cares about the most? Well, they list it here for us. Visits, directional requests, and phone calls. So if we're going to implement a strategy and we're going to pay somebody, right? If we're going to utilize maybe like a new tactic like I'm teaching, or maybe we have our own system and we want to, and we're going to do the most important pieces, that's going to be right here. We know that keywords are first, which makes sense. They have to find us through a keyword that initiates the customer cycle. It's going to be one of these three types. That's fine. But when we start looking here, it's like, is it maps or is it from search? Okay. And then we go right down to the next piece, which is right here. We know that, Hey, it has to be, we have to have them initiate something in order for it to be or weighted differently than just finding us from a search. You see? We need this customer interaction. So the next piece is obviously directional requests. Well, where are they searching from? Ideally, we want them searching from where our service zones are or where we have pins dropped or where we want to start showing up. This makes sense. This isn't always ideal for maybe, say, paying somebody like a micro worker. But if we're running our own system, then this is achievable, of course. Now, as we start scrolling down, it's going to give us secondary factors. I'm introducing the factors to you, giving you the, what the guidelines, if you're going to manipulate, we need to know what we're manipulating. Just like if we know the rules, we know the, what it takes to break them. And if we break the rules, then we can get an advance. No, this is what I'm walking you through. All right. I want you to have a deeper understanding. So, you know, when I go in here and then I'm going to walk you through, stick with me, I'm going to walk you through the process. Now let's keep going down with factors and signals. What's most important user generated from these two elements are going to push the needle the most. Now, when we get a user to do something coming from either search or maps, ideally maps, we want to rank in maps. We need them to initiate one of these three signals. They're mapping the signals. They're giving it to us. Well, these ones matter the most and you're thinking, well, that's all there is. Well, no, they're secondary factors. And if you scroll down here, it starts to tell you that's mapping these, but take looking, take a look at the photos. This would be a secondary signal. And this is where we would start sending in perhaps a bot. Let's say we were running some type of bot, bot traffic such as this. Where would I be sending them? Well, I'd be having them looking at photos and engaging with photos, clicking from one photo to another, clicking on a photo, going to another item, looking at a post, you know, posts, and looking at the images, this is what I would set the bot up to do. But if I'm going to pay or I have my own system, then I want them to implement these. All right. Hopefully this is all coming clear now. So if we keep scrolling down, we can see it's customer photos 
and owner photo. So which ones are they looking at? Obviously, we want it to be equal depending on what your guideline is, right? Here's the guideline. It's telling us customer and owner. You see what I'm saying? So just to wrap up what we just talked about so we have a full grasp, everything is initiated from a keyword. So it's either going to be a brand plus keyword or a keyword plus location. Everything starts with a keyword everything. Now, where is it? Is it search or is it maps? Okay. We're starting to dwindle it down. Now to get the most movement, we need to have very precise actions done. These precise actions are listed by Google as being a visit to the website, a directional request, or they're pushing the call button. So if I'm paying or I'm implementing my own system, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. When we take a look here, they're going to start mapping out. Look at, I'm getting directional requests from Nigeria. This is kind of strange, but hey, <laughs> over the course of time, this is what happens. Now, if we keep moving down here, we have phone calls. This is then being mapped out and then the photo views. So let's start walking through how we would actually go about mapping this out. All right. This is going to be considered a bonus section within my new training, but I figured, hey, you know what? This would benefit everybody, right? So I'm just going to share it with whomever is here today. All right. So here's how we would start manipulating this and how we can start dominating within Google Maps. No one's teaching this stuff, right? Not publicly. <laughs> so let's get into it. So this is what I would do. Here's what I'd be looking at right now. Obviously, I'm looking at my business and this business profile is on the up and up. This is attached to my name and brand and I don't do anything fishy with this account, right? So when we start taking a look here, uh, the very first thing is we, we want to follow the guidelines here, right? Direct discovery branded. We want to know here and here we want to focus on maps. So what, what do we need to do if we were creating a template? And if you're in the training, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if we're walking through a template, the beginning portion will look like this, except for after we clear our cookies in our browser at the beginning of a session, you should probably already know what the session is, right? If we're starting a fresh session, instead of us going to google.com, instead we want them to go to Google Maps. So let's start looking here. We need to get out here to Google Maps. So it's going to be clear browser and history, go to Google Maps. All right, so we need to come over here to Google Maps. Let's get rid of this. Let's uh, map search. We can go right here. So there we go. This will get us... Um, and the objective would be that we search for the keyword within maps and we it just so happens that obviously I'm within my area on my account and inside of here and the very first one, yours might be way down, right? I'm in my area, I am ranking first, but um, this is also the account I only do not very much on, right? So we have all these businesses here. I'm searching for SEO consulting. I click on the listing that I want boosted right? So this would be the instruction. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So within the template, it's going to be go to Google maps and we're going to search for the term and the term is going to be SEO consulting. Once we're looking and or finding, and this could be variations of the keyword, what we're looking for is we want them to then click on our result. So that would be the next. So that's search for, right? SEO consulting right? If you have to add a modifier or a geo modifier, I'm just giving you the basics here. I'm not giving you the whole layout, right? But searching for SEO consulting, obviously without the quotes, number four is going to be find the hat. It's going to be business, right? Which is going to be your business, you see? And number five is going to be this. So we're just taking them right through. I'm leading them exactly through here. So what am I going to have them do? I'm going to have them click on my business. I see good old did. So let's say they're searching for me. Our next goal is to then have them initiate one of those three elements, whether it's a directional request, whether it's a phone call, whether, whether we want them to go right over to the site, you want them to initiate one of those three. Those are the three key pieces. All right. So however they're finding you, whether it's a keyword search, whether they're going organic coming over to GMB or whether they're going inside of maps, searching for keywords or keyword variations or searching for your competitors in the beginning of a session and then ending on yours, right? That's also a powerful one. I, 
I have not been implementing that. If we take a look at the quarter, as you can see here, see, branded customers who find your listing searching for a brand related to your business. You see, that's a whole nother element. I'm just starting to play with that to get it to, to pop, you know. Um, and if you're, if you're, if you're looking at your insights and you want to know what to run first, you want to run direct first. You need to increase the numbers of people looking for your brand, business, or service. That's first. So this is first. Green is first. Then we want it to be discovery. Then this could be variations and different values showing up. You know, they're searching for different elements, variations of keywords, and then finding your business. I do feel that the cherry on top, just from looking and and you know, co-knowledging with other people. The last piece is when they're searching for the other businesses in the beginning of a session, but ending on yours and creating an engagement, whether it's a website click, whether it's a phone call. And then here's the last piece that I want to leave on. Let's talk about bots. Now, at no time do I recommend a beginner to go and get a bot. And I, I you know, I'm not saying that this is a good bot, right? This is just one that I've been playing with that has been working, okay? Now, at no time should you be using a bot at all. But if you decide to use a bot, all right? It's, this is up to you. But if you use one at no time, should it be used to initiate any of these three things? Never, ever, ever, ever. If you want to use a bot, it should be to create other secondary factors like we talked about in the beginning, right? If you want them to look at your photos and get you up to ridiculous amounts of photo views, more so you'll, and you'll start getting these things. Google will send you a message. It'll also pop up inside of here and it'll say like, you're getting more you're getting more views than other people that are in your industry posting the same amount of times. It, it says something to that degree. And if you're increasing the amount of primary actions that are conducted by a user, then you need to make darn sure that you're also increasing these two. Because a normal customer evolution, which is what I call it, should at the very beginning, it should start and originate with an organic search. They're doing research and they're going to end up on your brand. They're usually going to end up maybe doing a, a visit of a website, then come back. They should also be looking at photos by the state uh, that they're in, right? Or, or where your business is. So let's just say that we're looking for, um, I don't know, plumber, New York. So we're going for plumbers in New York and we're looking over here. So how are they finding us? Or maybe, maybe you're in a town called uh, Hicksville, right? So plumber Hicksville. Maybe there isn't any, right? Oh, we do have some, you see? So it's a plumber in Hicksville, New York. That would trigger something. Um, what about, uh, what if I was looking for, what if I was looking for Botto? Uh, Botto Plumber, Hicksville, New York, right? I'm looking at uh, Botto Brothers. I searched for Botto Brothers in Hicksville, New York, but instead of, instead of clicking on Botto Brothers, I decide to go to your business, which just happens to be, I don't know, CVS. This is gonna bring up that yellow bar. That we that we were looking at before inside of insights you say this all right it, you know you can trigger all different types and by by having them okay now that they're on the business we need to then trigger one of these three things i hope i made that painfully clear that's the objective we need to we initiate everything with it and look at here's the blueprint we initiate with a keyword search usually our keywords are up here Here's the three types that are going to come in from our keyword. What is Google looking at? Did they find us through the search or did they find us through maps? Well, which one are we trying to rank higher, right? How are they getting over to our listing? All right. We want to start doing a lot more within the maps in order to show success, right? Then, then it's going right to the next element. Okay. Now that we've initiated our keyword search, 
What and they've classified the, the keyword search. They've classified it as direct discovery or branded, right? They're just they're walking us through the blueprint. They're giving it to us. Here you go. <laughs> That's why I love them. And then we're looking at this. We know that we want maps, so we know we want to outperform within here. And then we know that our customer interaction, it might as well say user signal. User signals right here. It, there, here's the actions that our customers are performing once they've found us through these types of different classifications. Then as we go down through here, it's going to list ideally in an ideal world, we want it to be within the service area. Like if we start, let's say that this is your business. If I drop a pin in Jim Thorpe, Lee Height and Dansville, I don't know if you can see the map here and then Allentown and Kutztown, and I want to start showing up there, on my website, I have pages dedicated to those towns. I have YouTube video citations with playlists dedicated to those with my map and my in info inside of them. I've created citations in these towns. I've created pin drops in those towns. Now I'm getting traffic that's initiating a user signal from these towns. Do you see? That's how we raise up, guys. All right? I hope this helps you. I hope it helps you. I hope it helps you. I hope it does. I'm I I don't know. I I hope I've explained this good enough for everybody. All right. It's been so amazing. 